to Uganda. By now, everyone must have heard about Miriam Nabatanzi. That's the 39 year old woman who has given birth to 44 children. Yes, 44. Right now, only 38 of those children are alive. So, Miriam is 39 and she has 38 children. Miriam was married off at the age of 13 and she started having children immediately. First, she was married off too young, aged 13, and started having children immediately. In my heart, I wish to have six children. I gave birth four times and on each occasion I had twins. So she had, um, let me see if I can remember this, but apparently she had four sets of triplets, three sets of quadruplets, and four sets of twins, three sets of quintuplets. I cannot even keep up. Miriam said that she first went to the doctor after having eight children. She went to the doctors and she told them that they should help her to prevent her from having more kids. But then she said doctors told us that she has a rare condition of hyperovulation which makes her extremely fertile. So she's saying the doctors are saying that they cannot help her. I went to hospital to ask the doctors to stop me from having babies. The doctors carried out tests and said it would be risking my life if they stopped me. I was too fertile to stop and I went back to hospital but the doctors said they couldn't stop me without risking death. Okay so you mean this woman cannot do family planning? I mean I don't understand what this is but is it true that this medical condition cannot be treated? Please if you're a medical practitioner comment below. I want to know what you think. I'm not saying that doctors in Uganda are not good but maybe it's time to go elsewhere so you understand and seek another opinion because by refusing to or uh, by being unable to help her the woman has Gradually, she went from, from 8, it is now 38. 30 has been added to the equation, and that is not a joke. 38 children. It's not easy to take care of even three children. Not to talk about that 38. That is more than most choirs that I know. That is more than a church in some places. In the meantime, the husband has left her. She's left alone with these 38 children, and this was after he abused her, according to the woman. I have had to put up with a lot. He abused me, beat me up sometimes, and threatened to kill me once. He pays no school fees, nor does he even know what we survive on. He's not part of these children's lives. He was in utter shock to learn I'd bought and built this place. Can you imagine? And not only that, she has to feed these children all by herself. You see, that is the thing that is worrying me. You know how many jobs she has to do to take care of these children? She learned many skills, including cake making, brick laying, decorations, tailoring, cooking, and herbal medicine. She hates having to beg. Only you, you are baking cake, you are a bricklayer, you are doing decorations, you are a tailor, you are cooking for others, you are a herbal medicine practitioner, only one day! Uh, that is too much for one person, one woman. I honestly admire her for not abandoning her children. We've seen women that threw babies in the trash or even flushed babies. We've seen all of that happen. So I'm really happy that she didn't abandon not even one of her children. To the mothers, do not desert your children as you walk out of marriage. I strongly feel that had my mother not left me, my father would not have married me off young. It's so sad that six of them have died already, you know, from 44 to 38. That means she has already buried six children. So I'm really happy that she didn't abandon them. At the same time, I'm really concerned for this woman. She cannot continue like this. So according to her, the doctors are saying it's risky for them to treat her. But even having kids is risky. You know, be so with each delivery, the mother's life is also endangered. So if she dies giving birth to more children, who is going to take care of the 38 that she has already? Also, what do you guys think she can do to help her to stop having more kids? And this is in case the husband comes back and you know he may come back and beg her and they may decide to do it again. You know, I love you, I love you. <laughs> if they should do it again, how can she avoid having more children? Or if she decides to marry someone else and he also is like, mwah, 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 you know? <laughs> how can they avoid having more children? Because I am very sure, I'm more than sure that 38 is enough. I'm very, very sure that 38 children <laughs> is enough. Let me know what you guys think. And if anyone is rich enough to fly this woman abroad for treatment, please do so. Because I honestly believe this condition is treatable. In the meantime, her story is everywhere. A lot of people are doing stories about her, but I'm yet to see some kind of government official say, okay, we need to help this woman because it's not her fault. It's not her fault that she has this medical condition. I'm hoping that the government of Uganda will not just abandon her. She has really, really tried doing all those jobs just to take care of our children she has really tried another 10 children are in secondary school some have been forced to drop out of school as the bill spirals out of control her dream is to educate all her children so that they may get a better life not like what she's been through 
now that the world has known about her story at least give scholarship you know for her children i'm really concerned about the upbringing of these children and their future and hopefully they can help her so that she won't be having more kids my message is mainly to parents stop selling your children through early marriages we suffer too much while losing out on parental love that can never be recovered so you guys don't know much guess what i'm just keeping it real